Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Enterprise data services. It's critical that IT begin to provide services to their users so those users can be more productive in what they do. If IT doesn't do this, users will go out and get it on their own to get the kind of features that they need to be productive no matter where they are. And that leads to something that we call shadow IT, which puts organizational data at risk. So this is an important topic. And I've invited Jeff Denworth, he's the Senior Vice President of Marketing at Cetera, to talk to us about uh, enterprise data services. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Before we jump into the whiteboard, let's talk a little bit about Cetera. Yep. Uh, what do you guys do? So Cetera uh, effectively is, um, is made an enterprise data services platform for organizations that, that really want to take control of their, um, their, their data and their file services agenda uh, and, and has built a system that is extensible um, both in terms of the number of services that you can deploy from it but also in the, um, the ways that you can deploy it and the integrations that it makes. So really, it marries up with this very secure uh, agenda that a lot of enterprise organizations have today where they really want to control the services that they deliver and they want to deliver it entirely from their own private or virtual private cloud. And I think it's important that we're using the term services broadly here because I think a lot of people when we start talking about this topic you immediately think file sync and share or endpoint backup or something like that. And really, if you take that approach, you end up with 30 different solutions you have to support, right? Yeah, that's right. Maybe yeah. not 30, but, uh, but at lot. least a few. Right? Yeah, exactly. Right, right. So talk us through what you got up here on the whiteboard. Sure. So, um, so first, when we think about the whole concept of, um, of data services, we, we take a step back and we think about the user and okay. all of the ways that they'll access their data on a daily basis, right? And they might have servers that have um, some applications that they're running. They might have desktops, laptops, even mobile devices. Um, and they're, they're sharing their files, they're storing them, and it really becomes this whole continuity or continuum of data access, data protection, and data sharing that an IT manager needs to address. Okay. And our belief is that if they do the proper job in addressing them, all of those services ultimately become a Trojan horse to this whole topic of IT governance, right? So, um, so I have one thing here that's kind of not a device. Obviously, it's okay. a little house, uh, not a little house on the prairie, but a house nonetheless. So you think about all of these devices, and then um, and, and cloud presents a lot of opportunity for organizations, but it also it, it depends upon almost continuous internet bandwidth to various places around the world. Right. And so what we've invented is um, a small little uh, what we call cloud storage gateway. Okay. So people can continue to do their um, their daily work at offices that don't have an, enough internet bandwidth or don't have predictable internet bandwidth. Okay. Um, so this would be like a remote office, branch office type of situation? Exactly. In the exactly. middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, and, and that was really kind of your guys' first foray into the space, correct? That's precisely right. Okay. Uh, since then, we've shipped about 40,000 of these devices to Fortune 100 organizations and companies that just have one device. Um, okay. So it's a real, it's a, it's a wide range of... Um, so you've um, also been successful at it, too. 40,000 is not a small number. We right? think we have. We yeah. think we have. Good. Uh, in terms of unit volume, it's probably the most that anybody shipped or maybe as much as everybody shipped in total in the enterprise space. Okay. But again, this is just kind of a, a subset of a broader product strategy that we've, we've put together okay. um, that really helps the IT as a service or the organizational strategy address the topic of user files, user data, user backups in a holistic way. Okay. So it's a platform, as I mentioned, and it's extensible. We've talked about the extensibility of the services and the, covery of, uh, the, the coverage of the continuum of user access. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about how else we extend it. So you have this whole... Um, uh, of course, everything authenticates, so let's just call that AD. Uh, okay. We support very sophisticated uh, Active Directory environments, but um, that's just one method of, of management or provisioning. And okay. then on this side, we have all sorts of integrations with um, automation platforms, uh, let's call it billing and monitoring, so people can do things like chargeback. Okay. Um, we have um, white label support so that people can um, ultimately drive adoption of the product within the organization by saying, this is the one we sanction, it's got our logo on it, please use it. And that's okay. really important for certain enterprises. Right. But a platform integrates with a lot of different other um, uh, third-party software in order to provide a, the kind of the platform vision. So, okay. so that's where things really start to get interesting and that's the, the, the basis of our 5.0 announcement. Okay. So, um, so we're introducing support for antivirus, scan centrally everything that lives anywhere from the core to the edge, uh, DLP, 
So you can make sure that nobody's sharing files unnecessarily, uh, which, which dovetails very well with EMM or Enterprise Mobility Management. Okay. Uh, we want to marry into an organization's BYOD and mobility agenda and enable them to still be productive, the users. Okay. Um, we have an API that's highly extensible, so, so we have a lot of customers that write their own software themselves. But the last part about this, and, and understand that this is all within the, the kind of the virtual private cloud or the private cloud, right. is the storage part. And so we, um, we're really helping organizations take that software-defined or object storage journey by uh, natively supporting pretty much anything that they want to deploy as, in terms of object storage, ranging from EMC to OpenStack to Amazon to any number of other uh, very popular tools. So a lot of flexibility down here in what I choose. Complete, and okay. uh, not just object, but also NAS. Okay. So uh, whatever you have available or whatever you want to have available, we'll support that and we'll drive adoption of this next generation storage, which is really important for IT managers. Sure. And so um, that last thing, uh, the object storage part, really has resulted in one other service that we, um, we're now launching called, uh, that's a virtual desktop. Okay. <laughs> um, and so our, our VDI solution uh, enables my documents folders to be mapped natively into object store. Okay. So you're saving versus all and flash. And that's a big cost. challenge in the VDI thing is what do you do with the, the my documents type of directory? Sure, right. sure. It's yeah. not clonable. It's not compressible so yeah. much. And it's 70% of a virtual desktop storage footprint. Right. Why would you put that on all flash? And it becomes part of the um, the Citera. Uh, data services platform, and because of that, it's immediately syncable. So organizations use it for ProServe. They can migrate existing desktops to virtual desktops, mm -hmm. but they can also give mobility to their users in a way that average VDI doesn't. So I could do, I could have my virtual desktop, and then when I'm out in the field with, say, my tablet, I could yep. have access to all my data automatically. That's totally through, right. All through a single service instead of having to kind of glue together two different services. Right, right. Yeah, so cool. in a lot of ways, this becomes the God box, right? Every single service, every single location, mm -hmm. uh, with an IT as a service delivery platform that um, really covers every aspect of privacy, governance, and security. Perfect. And that's what we do. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us today, Jeff. Thanks so much that. for having me. So there you have it. One of the key things that I take away from this is you can't just attack one little service problem at a time. You'll end up with too many solutions. But So going with a platform approach allows you to kind of consolidate the, the demand from users and really benefit the whole organization. Thank you for joining us today. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland.